In this video, we're going to take a look at the IO Gear Upstream Pro video production switch. And this is using an iPad for your complete all in one video switching. Now, IO Gear sent this over for my review, so I'm going to review it, let you guys know how this works and the use cases for this particular device. Now, I've already unboxed it to save a little time because we love saving time and making things more efficient and taking a look at the IO gear itself. Now I've already got it powered in because on the back we have a power supply that we plug directly in. Now there is no on and off switch. We just plug it in and it powers on. Then we have a microphone input. We have our stereo left and right. We have a USB 3.0 port, ethernet port, and then we have two HDMI inputs along with one HDMI 4K input. Then we have our loop out and a program output that are both HDMI as well. And then on the right hand side, we have our link connection, which is used to connect to our iPad device and our headphone jack on the right hand side as well. Now, a couple things about the front of this device here. We have our program button on the top. We have a button that allows us to go directly live and we can build out scenes as well. Um, another useful thing about this particular switcher is it has this T-bar. So if you like the T-bar, you can use the T-bar along with the auto and cut. Now, this is an all-in-one device, which actually makes it more easy to transport with picking this up and having the handles. Now, it does have a little bit of weight on it. So if you do want to carry it, make sure that you have a bag that uh, will allow you to carry this and fit this inside of the bag. But to use this along with an iPad gives you an all-in-one solution, which is something that's very intriguing. So we're going to get this all connected and set up here. And I'm going to plug this back in. So now I have this plugged into my desk with my power strip underneath my desk. And it does come with a USB 3.0 to USB-C connection. Now I have an older model iPad, so it doesn't come with the cable that I need specifically, but it does come with another USB 2.0 to USB 2.0. And I did have to purchase an adapter to go along with this so it could connect to my iPad device specifically. But if you have a newer iPad, you should be fine with the cables that are included. So I'm going to connect my USB 2.0 to my USB 2.0 here and then set my iPad on top of the device. Now, because this is an all-in-one, all you need to do is download the Upstream Studio app. So I've already gone ahead and updated the app and I'm going to plug in my iPad into the switcher. And then once you get set up, there are some couple menu screens that you'll go through here. And now we are in our Upstream Pro software. So literally without any computers, you can go live using just an app and this physical device right here. Now, in addition to setting up the iPad, I need a camera to test this all out. So I have a HDMI to HDMI cable that I'm gonna use to connect my PTZ optics camera. So I'm gonna plug my HDMI input into there and then plug in HDMI input into one of the sources here. Now we're good to go. So in the next video, I'm actually gonna walk you through some of the software features really quickly, how you can go live in a couple of clicks and start live streaming to your favorite platform. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.